Hello and welcome everyone to Last Level Press. I'm Mr. Black, and this is Chapter 2 of Let's Play Mainland. And where last we left off, I had survived as a shipwrecked mariner, a Londoner, I take it, in a tropical island region. And I've unfortunately found myself unable to climb the deck to retrieve the spyglass I rather clumsily dropped off of the cliffside of the island I am shipwrecked upon. So, I've already checked the ship, and I, I'm i assuming I'm not in the health capable of crawling about the higher reaches of the ship. So I think I'll check the island now and see what I can actually accomplish there. So, walk to shore. I must find another spyglass. All right, I suppose. I'm here until I recover one. All right, then. So, all of... <laughs> The plans I had for my course of action are now thrown out. Alright, let's see. I suppose I'll examine the rope with the hook. Can I use this for anything? I use it to climb aboard the ship. Alright, let's see. I'm, I still... I wish use was a text option. Alright, let's see. Um, where... I'll put my jacket on. Alright, so I'm wearing my jacket and my shoes. I quickly lace them. I should not remain barefoot for long. I agree. Alright, so... Can I climb the mizzen mast? It is unnecessary. The lookout spot at the top of the main mast may offer some reward, though. Alright, so... I need to climb this, clearly. I'm simply unsure of how. Alright. Let's see. I'll, I'll check around a little more of the ship. Let's walk to... no. Climb. Dinghy. There is no reason to board it here. Alright, I was wondering whether or not some supplies might be in the dinghy. Okay, let's see. I'll, I'll walk back down to the hold. I feel as though I likely missed something in the hold. So, let's... wrap? I still, I wish I could wrap my handkerchief around my face to keep the smell at bay, as well as the airborne particulates of who knows whatever killed the crew. All right, let's see. Are there any other options I'm simply not aware of? Let's see, there's several under that. I'm essentially checking cues that start with each letter. So, remove, rinse, wait, rinse. I know the text said the handkerchief is filthy. Can I rinse it? Can I clean it? Handkerchief. With... I have nothing to rinse it with. Alright. Uh, is clean an option? Yes, clean. Handkerchief. With... Jacket? I should launder it back in civilization one day. Alright. I, I kind of think I'm onto something here. Uh, clean... Jacket? With handkerchief? I split into oh wait, I spit into my handkerchief and rubbed the exterior of the jacket, but truth be told, I know it cannot help much. It is thoroughly soiled. All right, I'm not sure what that accomplished. Let's see then. Examine the hold. I'll, I'll remind myself of exactly what I'm in here. Staying below deck for too long would begin to mark years off of one's life. All right, I think I'm a few down already. So let's. Keep trying other options. Nothing with V. Nothing with B. Blow out. No. Uh, mount. Alright then. Leave, lie, look at. Jump. Heat. Get, go, and gulp, as well as grab. Alright, what do these do? Get. Get down. Get galley. Get sick bay. Get up. Alright. How about. Flail? <laughs> Fall what is flail? What are my options for flailing? Flail at? I must collect my thoughts. I'm starting to hallucinate. Alright. Oh, dampen. Descend, douse, down, drain. Dress or drink. Can I descend anything? Descend the sick bay. There is no light in such a terrible... T okay, so, as I mentioned earlier, a couple of these are essentially redundant commands. And, again, I like that. It means I can think through multiple 
essentially voices, <laughs> and each will still come up with an appropriate answer. So, I suppose I'll leave. Is leave an option? Yes, leave. And, oh, apparently leave is sort of a, a quick option. All right, then. Let's see. So now, walk to the sick bay, right? Or was I just there? Right, I was just there. Uh, leave. Let's now walk to the galley. I... I'm of the mind something ought to be in here. Let's see. Dirty dishes, the light is dim, and dust hangs quietly in the air. There's a cleaver on the wall. Why can't I take the cleaver? It might prove useful, but I don't really need it at the moment. I still disagree, sir. Alright, then. I'll leave, then. And... Walk back up to the deck. Let's see. I emerge from the suffocating hold and take several deep breaths, doubled over with my hands on my knees. Alright. I assume that means I spent a little long down there. Alright. Did I miss anything in the captain's cabin? Let's see. Walk to the cabin. Now... Have I not lit the candle? Light. Candle. I just, I assumed it was already lit, and I'm sure that's actually a false assumption now that I really think of it. I light the candle, all right. So, I was wrong originally. Um, examine, let's see, let's examine the desk with the candle. Okay, all right, so I assume having the candle with me will already illuminate things. I, I just kind of meant to like, hold the candle over it and illuminate it. So, I assume I don't need to do that. So now, is there anything else to take in here? Uh, no. Alright then. Are there any other options? Um, is open an option? Yes, open the desk. I don't need to open with anything. I should probably sit down if I wish to rifle through the captain's belongings. Okay then, let's sit then. Sit at the desk. Yeah. At the captain's desk. Many drawers with ornate brass handles. However, the bottom one is locked. There might be something valuable inside. The captain's log sits open on the surface, where I continue to document the state of the Mayflower. I am on the Mayflower? I... oh, uh, alright then. I was not expecting that. I... um... alright. All Let's keep calm and carry on then. Uh, can I... Read? No, read is not an option. Examine the logbook. Yes. Examine the logbook. Our captain was a Lafsonic man. He lists the date of departure, a few terse notes leading up to the outbreak, then my account begins. Alright. I was not actually expecting this to take a turn into historical fiction. I like that. Or is this inspired by an account I'm simply not familiar with and entering into the adaptation of fiction derived from non-fiction. I, I am honestly not sure. Like, comment if you know. I'm now exceedingly curious. All right, let's see then. Um, examine the table. It's carved of wood with various trinkets scattered across the top and drawers on the other side. All right, let's see. Can I open any of these other things? Open the top drawers. The drawers are already open. All right, open. Bottom drawer? I don't have anything to open it with. <laughs> open it with a rope with a hook. Just pry it open. The desk is solidly fashioned from thick pieces of timber. Gaining access to the locked drawer requires its key. Alright, I was afraid of that. Let's see. If I were a captain, where would I hide my key if not on my person? Because I can't access his person right now. Because I am not of clear mind enough to simply wrap my handkerchief around my... I, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm not letting go of that. Let's see, then. Um, is read an option? No, I already checked that. Examine. There's nothing else really here to examine, is there? Then, never mind. Let's see. Is stand up an option? Stand, yes. So now... I noticed there were a couple of other options for sit. Uh, sit at the nightstand? It is unlikely to hold my weight. Okay, never mind. Uh, sit on the wardrobe. I cannot fit inside, and it is nicely touching the ceiling. Nearly touching the ceiling. 
I'm sorry. I was a little scared again. Hallucinations. I'm starting to see amnesia monsters. All right. Let's see. Um, can I open the wardrobe? Maybe. Open wardrobe. I opened the wardrobe and get the impression the captain was very busy at every port of call. All right. I've already seen these. So some of these redundancies are a little misleading. Um, let's see. Examine... No, there's there's nothing really else here to examine, so I suppose I'll leave. An unexpected draft extinguishes my candle. Uh, Alright, I suppose that's kind of what I get for taking a candle above deck. Alright, let's head below deck, light the candle, and see if that changes anything. Walk to the hold. Now, light my candle with matches. I like the candle. Alright. Now, walk to the galley. Can I see anything now that I have a lit candle? No. Still, is there anything to open in here? No. Okay. Um, hmm. Can I drink anything? Dampened? Oh, wait. I'm in a galley. Surely there's some kind of of something in here. Dampen, handkerchief, with nothing, apparently. Alright, can I eat anything in here? Like, I'm, I'm sure I'm hungry. There's no food in the galley. Alright. Um, Alright, exit. Now, walk to sickbay. I catch my breath every time the flame flickers along the wall. The air is so foul. Vomiting. I run out and close the door. I wish to return to the corridor. All right. Um, at least it acknowledges that I have a candle now. I'm sure I'm onto something. I'm sure of it. Let's see. Is cover an option? Like cover, cauterize, chop, clean, climb, cut. Can I climb anything? No, climb down. No. Okay. All right. So let's. Is wrap? No, wrap. I've already tried. Wear, wave, wash, walk, wait. <sighs> Alright. I think I'll return to the main mast. I, I think I may have simply misjudged the means by which to actually climb it. So, let's leave. And leave again. Now. An unexpected draft extinguishes my candle. I really hope it's not keeping track of all of my matches because it said I have a full box. However, I'm, I'm not entirely certain. All right, let's see. I need to remove my jacket and remove my shoes. I know that already. So, do, do I need to remove my pants as well? Need I clamber about in only my own skin? That is a flawed plan. I'll agree with that. So, now climb the mainmast. And, let's see, can I throw rope with a hook? Crow's nest. I knew it. I knew it. All right, then. I swing the hook and let it fly toward the yard where it catches hold of the crossbeam and pull myself up into the crow's nest. I knew it. It is a narrow wooden viewing platform. A terrible wind could put me over the side. In a spell of vertigo, I clench the mast, squeezing my eyes shut. I force them back open toward the sky and notice a small canvas bag fastened overhead. Examine that bag. Examine bag. Uh, just, just examine the bag. Inside of the canvas bag is a small flask. I open it and sniff, my nose burning with a sting of cheap whiskey. The anticipation of a stout drink must have given him courage to perform his harrowing duty. But I wonder how the sailor ever made it back down upright. The whiskey flask might have its uses, opposing those of the spyglass I came in search of. Maybe I should take it. Indeed, you should. Take the bag as well. It is attached well to the pole. Well, never mind then. Take the flask. I take the flask, sure to find a proper application for it. Alright then. So, I assume I could use that to treat injuries, as I assume, given the smell, it's still some whiskey. So, 
I might use that to clean either myself or something I need to uh, sterilize. All right, so is there anything else up here? Examine crow's nests. Let's see, I must keep my chest pressed against the mast. I am right there with you, man. Vertigo is intense. Let's see, let's look at the flask. Let's, let's get a little more look at this. A small flask filled with Lookout's private whiskey. Okay. Um, can I, like, look out from here? No. All right. Like, I'm, I'm in the crow's nest. I assumed I might see something noteworthy on the island. Um, hold on. Can I examine something from here? Examine... No. All right, examine myself. Like, how am I right now? I'm wearing pants. I have jacket, shoes, handkerchief, candle, matches, rope with a hook, and flask. All right, then. So that's how I essentially take inventory, and I check what I have. All right, then. Um, is survey an option? Stand, swing, slice, slash, sit, sever, set a light, search, seal, search, bag. There's nothing else in the bag. Okay, I need to remember that search is an option. As is apparently set alight. I'm a pyromaniac, apparently. Alright then, um... <laughs> how do I climb, climb down? Uh, climb down. Can I just can I just use that command, climb down? No. Uh, climb down, crow's nest. I test the rope, then carefully lower myself onto it, my feet swinging freely as I frantically try to wrap them about the mast. I descend the rigging slowly, breathing in time with every handhold. I stand on the deck near the towering mainmast, hesitant to even look up at text I've already read. So... I have a flask now. What do I do with this? All I've really got left now is to walk down to the hold, because... I've checked, I think, everything in the captain's quarters, so... What can I use a flask for down here? I would assume it might be something in the galley, because I haven't actually accomplished anything in there, so... Let us descend to the sick bay. Apparently, no, never mind. Uh, walk, because descend is a much more interesting word. To the galley. It's in complete disarray. So now, can I flit? No. Can I pour whiskey onto? Oh. Oh. I could pour it onto a candle. Why would I do that? Pouring it onto the handkerchief could clean it and sterilize it. Let's do that. I pour a drop of whiskey on my handkerchief and hold it over my nose! I knew it! I knew it! Okay. Alright, you simply wanted a very specific version of the action I wanted to accomplish, game. Alright, I'm, I'm with you now. So now, let's leave here and... Alright, we, we'll descend now. Alright, descend the sick bay. I hold my nose with the whiskey-soaked handkerchief. It is too dark to make a clear assessment of the room. I wish to return to the corridor. No, you do not. You will light your candle and like it. With matches. I light the candle. Now, examine the the body. All right, I have a few things to examine now. Examine the body with... No, all right, so I just need to examine it. All right. There we are. Examine the captain's body. I notice around the captain's neck a small pouch hanging from a chain. Might that keep his key? I carefully lift it and check the contents to find an ornate brass key, which I decide to take. Excellent. Let me just make sure I actually took it. Take body? It is better not to disturb the body any more than necessary. I cannot stomach such close proximity much longer. All right, all right, all right. Examine... The sick bay. All right. Bodies I wish to take ashore to bury, as God would have it. It was not in my constitution to lower the three overboard and ferry them along the coast through the thickets of breadfruit trees. Perhaps, when I have been returned to full health, standing before the captain, lifeless and rotting, I pray the Lord will have mercy on me for such an omission. I am sure he will. Circumstances are what they are and all. So, I have now the key, so let's leave and remove ourselves from such a horrible environment. Um, and leave let's see yes okay so now we'll walk to the cabin and now sit at the desk 
and open the bottom drawer with the key. The brass key turns with a satisfying clink, and the drawer slides out. Examine. I want to know what's in it. Bottom drawer. Inside the drawer is the captain's spyglass. It is not my father's, but it will serve my purpose. I hesitate, feeling a pang of guilt at looting the possessions of a dead man, one against whom I bore no ill will, and who simply does not need it any more. I'm sorry. However, survival situations call for tough decisions, man. All right, so take it. T take, take, <laughs> take the bottom drawer. Can I just rip it out of there? I need. I do not need the drawer itself. Take the logbook. I should leave it here with the ship for fear of losing it on one of my walkabouts. All right, that's that's sound logic. Um, take spyglass. Yes. September sixth, eighteen forty-six. My mind refuses to believe all that is happening. It drags me away from old habits, waking me each morning in the place where not so long ago lived a proud captain and his crew. The reef holds aloft our failed adventure, yet hidden from all eyes that might be carried under a wandering sail. In my first days here, I considered whether for my sins the Lord had forbade my entrance to heaven. Had my soul been condemned to wander in purgatory, scouring a broken ship with flagging sails and rotting corpses in her hold? I have found it best not to daydream of bright things, as it has been made clear I will only pass this trial undignified, crawling through the mud in tears. After father's death came an agonizing despair, the depth of my soul hallowed and inconsolate. I believe Lisa saw the void, and was forced to watch me in a similar darkness. So here I am once more. Yet where is her gentle touch? September 7th, 1846. Recalling the end of our voyage, when the squall removed a contingent of sick men from our deck, the captain, meanwhile, lay in his bed unconscious. The sores on his neck were beginning to fester, and his unskilled caretaker grew so afraid he dare not even dress them. I could hardly continue my hourly sojourns to the porthole window, keeping watch over the violent waves. An empty helm guided us where God intended, and I, the healthiest man aboard, quietly awaited my fate beside the dying man. I do ask myself, could I have saved the ship? I find consolation that a ship requires a crew, yet it does not ease the guilt with which I waited there, hiding from the dangers all around me. September 8th, 1846 I wonder that I should still be alive, while the ship's doctor was one of the first, with many robust men to follow him. I have nights shaken with fear that the disease may yet find me, and like the others have me writhe in agony until I have become a corpse without will. The captain held out for some time, and at a point I permitted myself hope he would regain his health. He commanded all those suffering to move quarters to the lower deck where they were to remain. Wooden doors proved to be an ineffective barrier, and soon he dropped to his knees on the main deck, afflicted all the same. So, here I am, miraculously cursed. My health is surely not served by exploring the cold through the cold, relentless rain, but I must press on and learn of my salvation if it lies somewhere on this island. The Mayflower I stand next to the ship, broken atop the reef. It is a bright today, and her gilded monogram shines under the bulwark. I can make passage to the shore from here. All right. And I'll call this episode here, as I suspect the venture to the island is a sojourn unto itself. And so I suspect this episode may end up a little shorter than the previous. However, I want to keep the different chapters of these arcs to the narrative uh, a little somewhat compartmentalized, such that they are digestible within themselves. So, I am very much enjoying this, as I mentioned in the previous episode. I'm starting to understand the rhythm, I'm starting to understand the logic in its narrative and in its progression, and in the uh, sort of mild puzzle-solving nature to uh, making progression within the game. And I'm enjoying it. The more time I spend with it, the more I enjoy it. And like I mentioned earlier, I easily encourage any of you who enjoy adventure games, which is a rare genre to see any entries in, in, in this era, to check this game out. I am very much enjoying it. So, I am Mr. Black here at Last Level Press. Stick around for Chapter 3 of Mainland to come very soon. And as always, I wish you all good gaming, and Godspeed.